Hi there. So in this video I'm going to look at using simulation in R to illustrate the um, central limit theorem which tells us that as the sample size gets large the repeated sampling distribution of the sample mean converges to a normal distribution even if the observations uh, in the population are not normally distributed. Okay, so let's start a new script in R. We're going to do a simulation and I'm going to define a variable called nsim for the number of simulations that we're going to perform. And the sample size of each of the samples, which initially we'll take to be a small sample, let's take a sample of size 3. So then I'm going to write a for loop which is going to iterate across the simulations and then each time I'm going to draw a sample from the continuous uniform distribution between 0 and 1, sample size of n. And what I want to do is save the sample mean from each of the iterations. So I'm going to define an array here with length n sim. And after simulating a vector x from the uniform distribution, I want to save the sample mean of those observations into the ith element of that array. Okay, so then after the simulation has been performed, we're going to look at a histogram of the distribution across the 10,000 simulations of the sample mean. So actually if we just set this to 1, the sample size to 1, then the mean of one observation is just the same as the observation. So if we run the code like this, we should obtain a histogram which essentially looks like the, the uniform distribution because our sample mean is equal to just a single observation from the uniform distribution and so we shouldn't be surprised to see a histogram that looks like this with a, with a uniform distribution. Let's increase the sample size up to 3, rerun the code so immediately, just from going from a sample size of 1 up to 3, we can see quite a dramatic change in the repeated sampling distribution of the sample mean. So now we can see that it's unimodal. It's peaked in, in the center here around 0.5 with um, lower density values uh, towards 0 and towards 1. And intuitively, we can sort of understand this by the fact that in order to have a sample mean close to 0, in a sample of three observations, all three observations have to be quite close to zero, which happens much less frequently than getting a sample mean close to a half, because there is quite a few different ways of getting an average value of a half in a sample of three. Um, and similarly, to get a sample mean of close to one, all three observations have to be close to one, and that happens quite rarely, so the distribution or the density function uh, is, is quite low in, the, in that region. Okay, so what does the central limit theorem says? It, it says that as the sample size increases, the repeated sampling distribution of the sample mean converges to a normal distribution. So if we up this now to 100 and repeat, we can now see a histogram which looks a lot more like a normal distribution. And this is the central limit theorem kicking in. It's telling us that when n starts to get large, the repeated sampling distribution of the sample mean converges to a normal distribution. And the fact that this is true lies at the heart of many statistical methods where um, either the sample mean is involved or the estimator of some parameter is approximately equal to some sort of average and therefore um, the central limit theorem applies to the uh, distribution of the estimator in the model.